Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and I'm bringing you yet another brand new tutorial. This one's going to be Atheons on normal mode. Um, basically, we're going to use this as a demonstration for you guys. So, what have we got to talk through? Well, since the new patch update, what they've done is they've put random teleports, so you can't just simply move to the back and have your standard free teleport like you usually would do. So there's a different way of doing this one guys and I'm just going to talk you through it. So your relic holders say A, B, C and D. What you're going to do is you're going to assign them numbers, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Now when you get teleported, what you want to do is you want to call out your number if you are a relic holder. And basically what happens then is the lowest number that has been teleported is going to be holding the relic. The other two will be working on the oracles. It's as simple as that, it's effective, it works and it's after the patch. This is a Destiny first and it was actually fought up by a guy called Relentless who is one of Dark Mass's crew. And yeah guys, so this is just a tutorial for all those who are going to end up struggling with this specific one. We actually did it first time that allowed me to post this as soon as possible for you. Um, this is Destiny's first on it, so it's as simple as that. And all we're going to do is we're going to keep damaging this boss just as normal. And as you're going to see on here, you're going to see three different people getting teleported. As you can see, uh, Relentless Shine directly in front of me with the relic at the moment. I believe I end up getting teleported very shortly. Here we go. Yep, so it's me teleported. I'm the lowest number. So what I'm doing is I've got the relic and I'm going to ground slam down. Unfortunately, I missed the Minotaur. So I'm just going to finish him off here and he's just regened his health as well. Don't worry about it, just do your job and cleanse. Okay, moving down. I'm just gonna let these guys take out the oracles because that's gonna be their job while they've been teleported. And this time I'm actually going to be on the relic again. Just gonna throw a quick cleanse down before we go out. Jump in the middle. And if you see in the middle, see this right crease crack in the directly in the center I mean guys um, yeah basically directly in the center is where you want to be placing your shield what that will stop is any form of splash damage that you do get from Apion and obviously you can stand a bit closer for him interestingly enough thought of by Tom himself um, basically the Galahorn when you've got the Galahorn and you've got a good amount of rockets what you can actually do in that circle is you can actually Galahorn the boss by jumping up just to the outside and then Galahorn in him what that will do is it'll take off an extra 12k damage so it will do a lot of damage despite you technically not being in the bubble you can see me pulling a risky move there you don't want to do that with supplicants on the floors if that was in hard mode they'd probably end up taking me out <clears throat> now unfortunately my throat's a little bit groggy today and we are moving on so, we're going to end up with another teleport very shortly. Oh, no, nope, they're just coming out, correct me if I'm mistaken. So we're going to move into the middle. You're going to see Tom's going to take it directly in the centre where that crack is. I'm going to use the Galahorn just to show you guys. There you go. Look at the amount of damage, over 12k, and then going up to 20k as well. A lot of hundreds, but they all add up. As you can see his health is going down big time. Still got two rockets left but I'm taking splash damage. Now because I have took a bit of splash damage on that one, we might not have the relic in quite the right place. So I've just decided to move prematurely. And I've been teleported but number one has been teleported which is relentless this time. So he's going to take the relic and I'm going to work on the oracles. Like so. So you can see that your job roles do different, sorry, do sort of switch between your oracles and your relic holders. And we're just going to finish off this oracle room. Two more to go. And last one to go. 
Now, you can still use the trick where you kill the last one, let them two go out first, and then kill the last one. We didn't actually use that one here, but what it will do is it'll give you a bit more time on Atheon himself. As you're going to see, he's absolutely going to get slapped down right now. There you go. And Atheon is down, guys. Right, so... What did I get? I got the glass minuet, hard light which I've already got, and some ascendant shards. But there we go guys, and that is your tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.